Wow, um, it's been a while. <laughs> hey everyone, I appreciate your patience while I've been busy in school this past year, and welcome back. I am happy to be back and I better than ever, so let's go ahead and catch up and see what's happened to the gang while I've been gone, starting with the one and only Heath. To recap, we left off with the group splitting up. Heath miraculously got a job as a fashion stylist and moved to Paris, and he's been getting up to new adventures in France ever since. Now, before we go into what Heath's been doing while I've been away, I wanted to let you all know that this episode will be a little different from my previous videos. Popsicles After Dark represents a new era for my channel, as I'm growing up and so is a lot of my audience, you guys. I wanted to start making videos that relate more to my experiences as a college student, which means from now on, my videos will be intended for a mature audience due to adult language and content. That doesn't mean if you're still young that you can't watch my channel anymore, but if you're under 13 years old, I would strongly recommend getting your parent or guardian's permission before continuing with the video. Now, with that out of the way, welcome to Pop Schools After Dark and enjoy the video. Heath started his new job with high hopes and spent his first few weeks in Paris living his best life. But of course, in typical Heath fashion, his glamorous lifestyle crumbled around him as fast as it had begun. While his job at the prestigious fashion house Tomb Ford was a dream come true, the realities of working demanding hours quickly set in. Bonjour, Heath. As you know, the biggest vegan fashion is upon us. Now, I know you and I have had some creative differences since you started working with us. But, as your manager, I am expecting you to bring your best self to work during Fashion Week. Tomb Ford's new line is dropping tomorrow, and we have lots to get done. Well, first of all, I don't appreciate your mansplaining and condescending attitude. But you don't have to worry about me, baby girl. If there's one thing I can do right, it's fashion. I would never do Tomb Ford wrong just because my boss happens to be a faux leather wearing, knockoff Louis Vuitton carrying, basic bitch with a horrendous fake French accent. My dedication to designer is stronger than my disgust for you. I am going to leave you to do your thing then. Don't worry about having to work with me much longer. I'll be reporting you to upper management about your profane attitude. And as long as I can help it, this fashion week will be your last. Oh, ha, ha. How about you upper manage these nuts? I'm going to HR about how my shitty boss threatened to murder me to prevent me from attending future fashion weeks. Unbelievable! <laughs> Bonjour, merci beaucoup for being here tonight. I'm Lillian, a senior creative director here at Tomb Ford, and I'm so privileged to have the honor to reveal our newest collection for you tonight. Live on the runway, I present to you the Tomb Ford Winter 2023 collection. That's your stylist apprentice? Not fair much longer. Bonjour, security. Oh, fuck, my boss will have my head. Hey, what's going on? I am a designer for Tomb Ford. I should be the one on this runway. Not these trashy girls who do these designs no justice. Let me go! They can't treat a valued employee like this! How are you allowing this to happen? Half the French know humanity? You are a useless manager! That is it, Heath! No one in this company can deal with your atrocious attitude any longer. We really tried to make this work because fashion seems to actually be somewhat of a talent of yours. But this is getting out of hand! I was waiting for you to self-destruct and give corporate a final reason to fire you. And as I expected, it didn't take long. Now, I get the satisfaction of being the one to say it. You are fan! Did you just call me talented? Aw, oh, thank you, baby girl. We may have just become enemies, but I'll always accept a compliment. One more word from you, and you will be permanently banned from every Doom Ford retail location worldwide! Oh, Ugh, but hey! Ah! Disgraced and jobless, Heath wandered the streets of Paris the rest of the afternoon. 
The conditions of Heath's visa in France required him to be employed, and now his new life in Paris was at risk of falling apart before it began. Too embarrassed to return to his rental condo, Heath kept walking aimlessly into the night. And then, almost as if it was a sign from above, Heath just so happened to stumble upon a refuge from his troubles. There it was, glowing in the Parisian streetlights in all its glory, the beloved home of famous French cuisine, the Rainforest Cafe. Heath, who was tearing up from finding a beacon of hope in the dark night, stumbled up to the restaurant and was baffled to find that, oh? Not only was there a Rainforest Cafe, but there was another Rainforest Cafe right next to the first one. Two Rainforest Cafes? Heath had truly found a safe haven, and he quickly made his way into the first Rainforest Cafe for a bite to eat. Thank God France still has one place where I belong! Who knew a place I've admired my whole life could be so cruel to a harmless little fashionista like me? <sighs> Stress eating is not a good look for me. How was everything tonight, sir? Are you about ready for your check? The check? Have you not sensed the suffering on my face? Um, I'm not sure I'm following you. I just got fired, lady! I took refuge here out of desperation, and you're telling me I haven't earned even a simple meal for free? Me! A person who's lived a lifetime of trauma in just one night? I don't know what to tell you. I can't just comp your food. Oh my god! I thought the Rainforest Cafe was a place where I could feel accepted the way I am! What is this place if not a humble cafe designed to nurture and cherish the human spirit? Look, man, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you can't pay your tab, I'm gonna have to call the police. How dare you! I'm gonna- <laughs> So, long story short, that's how I ended up getting deported and being put on the no-fly list. Who knew it was illegal to dine a dash in France? Wait, what? I can understand getting deported for committing a crime, but how did you end up on the no-fly list? I know, Kim. I knew you would be rightfully outraged over this. This is why I always come to you, girl. Anyway, it was all a big misunderstanding and clearly the French police already had it out for me. Apparently, when I told the staff at the Rainforest Cafe that I was going to blow up their bathrooms, they didn't understand that I was talking figuratively, of course. The French are so clueless about crude humor. Wow, they must have really had it out for you for putting you on the list over a bad joke. Well, that's not exactly it. As it turns out, not too long after I left the restaurant, there just so happened to be a giant explosion that completely demolished the second Rainforest Cafe next door. So of course I look suspicious by default, but I mean, come on. Do I really look like the type of person to bomb a Rainforest Cafe? I tried to explain my story to the cops, but they were not having it. Personally, I feel like I was being treated unfairly for being American, but whatever. Um, why were there two Rainforest Cafes right next to each other? I don't know, Kim. Maybe because it's the best chain restaurant to exist? I mean, where else can I eat dinner in a jungle thunderstorm simulation? Anyway, that's besides the point. Now I'm back in my stupid home country, no job, no home, no friends, and a rapidly diminishing trust fund. It's so embarrassing. I'm literally holed up in a freaking Starbucks right now just so I can keep my phone charged. My life is horrible! You really don't have anyone here who you can talk to? Like, anyone at all? I thought you were like super popular. Ugh, well I do have my old friends from high school, but I was really counting on never having to talk to those bitches again. I do not want to move back in with them, Kim! Heath, I think you know what this means. I think it's time for you to reconnect with your friends. <gasps>